All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing something a little special, at least for me, is going over a new microphone. So in case you don't know what this is, this is the Octava MK102, and it's basically a large diaphragm or small diaphragm condenser microphone, which is kind of unusual in that you can change the capsules on top of it. So I'll go through all that when I do an overhead shot and show you comes with the kit and all that other good stuff. So first off, let me say I did buy this with my own money. It's not sponsored in any way, form or fashion by Octava or anybody like that. And if you don't know, Octava is a Octava is a Russian made company or a Russian company. And these are made in Russia. Now, before, I don't know, last year or six months ago, you used to have to go overseas to order these like through Germany or some other place like that. But if you don't know, there is an Octava USA distributor now so which is great because you get all kinds of good customer service and I worked with somebody called Ken who gave me all kinds of great customer service when I ordered if it was going to be late when it would be here and all that other stuff so the one caveat is that when I ordered this it was supposed to come with a wooden box and just so you know if you order these now and you expect the wooden box there was a problem with the box and the foam and stuff like that. So I'll show you in the overhead shot. These actually come with like a, a black plastic case with foam inserts. It's a nice case, but it's definitely not the wooden one. And uh, Ken and Octava USA is going to take care of me once he gets them in. And they redo whatever the problem is with the wood or other stuff. I think I just hit the mic too. So you probably heard that. I'm not used to having the mic right here. Um, I'm used to having it up out of the shot. So sorry about that. I, I am going to boom this later so you can see what it is. I just wanted you to see how small this thing is. So I'm not going to do any post-processing of this at all except for level and gain. So I'm not going to do my normal cleanup with breaths and um, EQ and compression and all that other stuff. So, you know, forgive me if you hear all the pops and clicks and, um, you know, the breaths and all that other stuff. Because I want you to hear how this mic sounds. So right now, this is the small diaphragm capsule on here and the cardioid polar pattern. This does come with multiple polar patterns, and it does come with a large diaphragm. That's one of the reasons why I ordered the 102. I'm sorry, yeah, the 102 instead of the 012 or the 012 is because I want to be able to turn this into a large diaphragm condenser microphone if I wanted to. So pretty cool little microphone is you can make it a small diaphragm cardioid or you can make it a small diaphragm omni small diaphragm hypercardioid or you can make it a large diaphragm cardioid so very cool um, it does come with some stuff like a minus 10 db pad i did buy a little uh wind filter for this but i i'm leaving it off for now so you can hear if there's any plosives or anything like that so hopefully this sounds great i haven't heard it yet this is the first time I've had it out of the box and I'm actually using it to record. Um, I'm going to switch back and forth between different polar patterns and the different small and large diaphragms. So hopefully you can hear the difference. You know, I highly recommend you use a good set of headphones or some good quality studio monitors so you don't, that don't color the audio, you know, that are very neutral. And that we can hear what this mic can really do. So pretty excited. Been waiting a while for this thing. Um, it's just great, you know, how small it is. And, and the build quality is just unbelievable. You know, it's all metal. There's nothing cheap about it. So the, the Russians definitely did do something right on, on the microphones. So let me go ahead and switch over to the uh, large capsule part of the, of the diaphragm. Uh, the capsule, large diaphragm capsule. Man, tongue-tied today. So, but uh, we'll, let me read some experts experts excerpts for the small diaphragm and then we'll read the same expert on the large diaphragm and then at the end i want to boom this like i normally do to see how well it does as a boom mic instead of the rode ntg5 which i normally use as my boom mic so let's go ahead and read a quick paragraph here and uh, we'll compare the two mk102 studio large diaphragm condenser microphone the MK-102 is an improved successor of the MK-101. The incredible clarity, accuracy, and ambiance of sound is supplied by the 35mm 5-micron thick 
gold sputter dual diaphragms, the same as in the tube microphone, MKL-5000. So that's with the small diaphragm cardioid capsule on it. So uh, stand by here and we'll switch over to the large diaphragm cardioid capsule and see what that sounds like. All right, everybody. So now that we're back on the large diaphragm cardioid capsule, let's go ahead and read the same paragraph. MK-102, Studio Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. The MK-102 is an improved successor to the MK-101. The incredible clarity, accuracy, and ambiance of sound is applied by the 33 millimeter 5 micron thick gold sputter dual diaphragms, the same as the tube microphone MKL-5000. All right, so that's a quick little look at the large diaphragm portion. Let's go ahead and switch over to the hypercardioid and see, see what that sounds like. So uh, stand by and we'll switch over. All right, everybody, now that we're back with the small diaphragm hypercardioid capsule, let's go ahead and read the same paragraph. MK-102, Studio Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone, MKL-5000 Capsule. The MK-102 is an improved successor to the MK-101. The incredible clarity, accuracy, and ambiance of sound is applied by the 33 millimeter 5 micron thick gold sputter dual diaphragms, the same as in the tube microphone MKL-5000. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the small diaphragm omni capsule and try that one out. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're now here with the small diaphragm omnipolar pattern capsule on the microphone. So let's go ahead and read the same paragraph. MK-102, Studio Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone, MKL-5000 Capsule. The MK-102 is improved successor to the MK-101. The incredible clarity, accuracy, and ambiance of sound is applied by the 33 millimeter 5 micron thick gold sputter dual diaphragms, the same as in the tube microphone MKL-5000. All right, so there we are with the omnipolar pattern. And for the end part of the shot, or the last part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and boom the small diaphragm cardioid capsule out of frame and see how that sounds working as a boom mic. So uh, let's go ahead and go over to the overhead shot, and we'll go through the whole set and what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and go over to the boom mount and see what that sounds like. So uh, stand by, and we'll get out of this. Thanks. All right, everybody. So here we are with the full kit that I just received, the Octava MK-102. And here is the microphone body itself. Just to give you a quick peek at it. Definitely got a little bit of weight to it. This is the large diaphragm cardioid add-on for it. So one of the reasons why I bought this as a kit, it's about two to three hundred dollars cheaper if you buy this as a kit instead of as individual pieces. So that's the large cardioid attachment. This is of course the little mic stand or yeah, mic stand that you can put on. You know, no big deal there. This is the minus 10 dB pad that you can stick in between the capsule and the microphone body. And here's the one of the big reasons I got it is for the small diaphragm part of the microphone. So as you can see by the polar pattern on it, this is the regular cardioid one. You can see by this pattern that this is the omni one. And lastly, we got this super cardioid small diaphragm capsule. So very cool. By the way, this is the only portion of the video that will be shot on something other than the Octava MK-102. Uh, this part is shot on a Rode NTG-5, um, just so I could show you everything. So uh, that's the kit. 
let me go ahead and get out of this and uh, we'll get back. Thanks. All right, everybody, now that we're on the last part of the video, I got the MK-102 boomed above my head, maybe about 8 to 12 inches, and it's the small diaphragm cardioid capsule. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. So this is definitely an interesting microphone, especially for the price point. You know, it's not cheap and it's not expensive either. Um, it's, a, you know, in between. But I would definitely be curious to hear your thoughts and comments on what's this sound like on the different polar patterns. Did it sound better closer to my mouth? How did it sound boomed above my head? You know, what, what does it sound like to you? Uh, please let me know. You know, definitely leave a comment below, you know, positive or negative. They both help. Since this is a new microphone, I'm definitely curious to see how this works. Um, down the road, I definitely want to do some tests and stuff against some other microphones like the NT1, NTG5. You know, maybe we'll test it against the USB microphone. So right now it's pointed about eh, 45 degrees at the corner of my mouth. So hopefully this sounds good, you know, and hopefully you enjoy these type of reviews on new microphones and stuff like that. And the last thing I want to do is go ahead and read the same paragraph as it's boomed above my head. MK-102, Studio Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone, MKL-5000 Capsule. The MK-102 is an improved successor to the MK-101. The incredible clarity, accuracy, and ambiance of sound is supplied by the 33 millimeter 5 micron thick gold sputter dual diaphragms, the same as in the tube microphone MKL-5000. You know, my apologies for the English. Uh, the grammar is not very good in this uh, book or in this uh, pamphlet. So it's not my grammar. It's just what's in there. So... You know, please don't say, man, your grammar is terrible. It, that's what's in the pamphlet. So, you know, maybe they need a little bit better English translation from uh, the Russian translation. So hopefully you enjoyed this. You know, I greatly appreciate you watching and for listening. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.